Notice here, Peter said, and will melt with fervent heat and the works therein burn up. Not the planet, the works therein. The works of man. All their politicians and their schemes and all their denominations and man-made schemes will all go with it when it burns. And, and uh, heavens will pass away with a great noise. Did you notice here? Heavens will pass away with a great noise. Listen. The whole earth will be on fire and will ignite the gases that's in the earth and explode it. That's exactly. Talk, the Bible said here, Peter said, and the heavens will pass away in earth with a great noise. Such an explosion will rock it. Oh, my. Because it's got to kill every disease, every thistle, every thorn. Everything there is to be done, the fire will burn it up. And remember, it's not altogether just a literal fire. It's also a holy fire. See? That will take away Satan and all of his. All the devils. Both heaven and earth. Amen. Will pass away. Killing all the germs, all the insects, all natural life on it and around it. Even the H2O, the water, will explode. Think of it. Talk about a noise. You think that little noise I hear in Tucson was something when he opened the six seals that shook the country around about and caused the talk. Wait till this earth receives her baptism. Amen. You know, when a man receives the baptism of fire, there's a lot of noise around there. <laughs> they think that's a shame to hear people scream and shout like that. Just wait till this earth gives her baptism. Yeah. It'll explain, explode it. The H2O, the water. For the Bible said here in Revelation 21, and there was no more sea. Explode it. This will change the whole surface of the entire earth. Amen. She'll burst and blow to pieces. All the outside, the crust, and for hundreds of feet below, it'll just simply be completely demolished. The atmospheres, the gases that's in the earth now where they're finding these missiles that can't get through it. A great sphere up in there, way up in some kind of a sphere that there's all kinds of gases, they say. And that'll burst. The holy wrath of God will come up on it. And will cleanse it. Will change the entire service. Now, many of you won't put on this word, the Greek word, pass away. It comes from the word I had to find. I thought, how is this world going to pass away and yet we're going to live on it? But if you'll notice, some of you people want to put it down. I'll spell it for you. I couldn't pronounce it. P-A-R-E-R-E-C-H-O-M-I-A. I don't know how to pronounce it. Now that way, as I said, when I get the inspiration strikes me for something, then I go back to find out the word. Now here I can't spell the word. I can't, I can't pronounce it. But in that, the Lord is still giving me a way. I go and find out what that word means. Then I got it. <laughs> then I got it again. See, uh, heavens and earth will pass away. Now, this word means passing from one form to another. It does not mean annihilation. As the English word would mean pass away, it's annihilated. But the Hebrew word or the Greek word here does not mean pass away. It means from passing from one thing to another. Look. But to pass from one condition, it says to another. Now notice, Paul used it, if you want to read it now, put it down, you can read it later. In Titus 3, 5, Paul is using this same word, means regeneration of man. That man has passed from a sinner to a saint. Not completely annihilated. When a man's changed, he isn't annihilated, but he's a changed person. He's been changed from what he was to what he is. Not annihilated. Jesus used the same word in Matthew 19, 28. Now, not 28, 19. Now, 19, 28. He said to them, You set with me in my Father's kingdom. Regenerated, you see. Change when you're changed. He used the same word. And he used the same word when he said to the colt, to loose the colt and let him go. Said the same thing at the resurrection of Lazarus. Loose him. Change him. Amen. He's been tied. Let him go. Amen. What does it mean? The earth will be loose from the grip of Satan. Amen. 
It'll be loose. It'll be loose from politics. It'll be loose from denominational religious systems. To be used for the kingdom of God. To be established here on the earth. But as long as it's in the hands of Satan, politics, Satan the ruler of the earth, he owns it. It belonged to him, but now Christ has redeemed it. One time I was his property, but not now. One time that little woman was his property, but not now. He he come to loose the grip of it. He loosed the grip of sin of Satan upon my life, upon your life. And now we're not his. Have you often heard me say in prayer, take your hands off of God's property. Amen. 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 Have faith to claim your own. That's your rights. Take your hands off of her. Take your hands off of him. See? Faith will do it. Oh, my. Not annihilate it, but just take your hands off of it. To loose it. Let it go. Pass it away. It changes. The earth will change. Politics will change. The religions will change. The denominations will pass away. Politics will pass away. The kingdom of God shall be established. 